search engines like Google are using complex algorithms to determine the ranking of your website on the search engine result pages. One way to increase traffic is by optimizing your website which is majorly based on the content present on the page and the content present off the page. So this video will mainly focus on off page SEO. So hi guys, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and today I'm going to be guiding your way through what is off page SEO. But before we get any further with the session, let's take a quick look at the agenda. So firstly, I'll start off with what is SEO followed by which we'll take a look at the different SEO techniques that are in use and as this video mainly focuses on off page SEO, we'll take a look at what exactly is off page SEO, its importance and what are the link and non link related off page SEO factors and mainly we'll focus on backlinks because backlinks are the backbone or the support for off page SEO. And once you understand what exactly happens in backlinks, we'll take a look at the major difference between what is on page SEO and off page SEO. Finally, we'll wrap up this session by taking a look at the benefits of off page SEO. So these are the topics that we'll be discussing in this session guys. So what is SEO? SEO or search engine optimization is simply the process of increasing the traffic onto your website for free. To put it across in a better way, I would say it is the practice of increasing the quantity and the quality of traffic to your website through organic search engine results. SEO is increasing the chances for companies to grow and flourish. This is because organic traffic is more reliable and is got without investing much. So if you want to learn more about what exactly SEO is and you want to learn everything from scratch, Take a look at another video which is put up by Edureka which goes by the name SEO tutorial. Here I've explained everything about SEO from scratch. So if you're not understanding or if you're not able to grasp what exactly is SEO, you can just go ahead and look at the video guys. Now coming back to this session, no wonder on page SEO is very important. But if you don't focus on your off page SEO factors, you won't be able to meet your desired targets. Okay. This was about the basic introduction to what is SEO. Now moving ahead, let's take a look at the different techniques in use. So often I come across people who get confused between the types and the techniques of SEO. So types majorly include black hat SEO, white hat SEO and gray hat SEO. Now talking about the techniques, we have three techniques in use, which is on page SEO, off page SEO and technical SEO. So let's understand what they are. Well, on page SEO is the practice of optimizing individual web pages to rank higher on the SERPs and get more relevant traffic from the search engines. As the name suggests, it optimizes the content that is present on the page. Now, what do you think is the content present on the page? These are nothing but the title tags, meta tags, meta description, keyword density, URL of the page and so on. So these are some strategies that you have to follow to gain more traffic by having the content on the page. You might think what's so special about working on the content present on the page. Well, there is as long as you focus on giving more attention or paying more attention to your content and the way it is presented to your viewer, you're in safe hands guys. Now moving on, let's understand about off page SEO. Off-page SEO deals with the actions that are performed outside your website to improve your ranking on the SERPs. A recent study also states that off-page SEO makes up to 75% of a good digital strategy. It has everything to do with your social presence, link building and many more that doesn't really have to be present on the page. Putting it across in layman terms, I would say off page SEO simply tells Google or search engines about what the audience think about your website. Off page optimization is just link building, but there's definitely more wings to it guys. It has strategic control over the way of making you famous over the internet. So do note guys off page SEO is very important for your ranking and generating more traffic to your website. So most widely used off page SEO elements are backlinks, follow and non follow links, anchor text, link juice and relevancy. So this was about what is off page SEO. Now let's understand why is it so important. Search engine algorithms ranking factor and the tactics are constantly changing and parallelly the general concord is that the trustworthiness, relevance 
and authority that an effective off page SEO can afford still plays a drastic role in the page ability to rank. Links are very important to make your website rank on the SER piece. So having links which are namely inbound and outbound links in your website could just increase your chance of ranking on the first page on Google. To make sure that your content rank, there should be proper visibility to your website. Often websites don't rank because of off page SEO, guys. This is due to the absence of link building, social media, videos, and blogs. So, this is exactly why you need off page SEO. Now, moving ahead, let's take a look at the link and non link related off page factors. So, backlinks are the heart of off page SEO, guys. Search engines like Google and many more. Make use of backlinks as certain indicators for good quality content. Backlinks are also the most critical part of off page SEO. So, for this purpose, you can make use of SEO tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, and so on. So, Ahrefs is one such tool that has a backlink checker, which will help you in understanding how to create backlinks and to handle them. Now, when I say link, I'm talking about the links that are present on the page connecting it to the other website. So I'll mainly be talking about the three links natural links manually built links and self created links as the name suggests natural link is something which is created naturally and manually built link are the ones which you want to rank or you want to link it to and self created links are anchor tags. The major factors which influences these links are the linking sites popularity the freshness of the link the proper usage of anchor text or anchor tags authority of linking domain and the website. Now how exactly link building is done? One of the most effective and the most popular ways of dealing with off page SEO is link building. Here we have the concept of votes which help in gathering the ranking position of your competitors and your company. So there are many ways through which you can include a links guys and a few notable ones are in your blogs. You can always have articles pointing to your website. Getting traffic from other medium like guest blogging and so on is very important and also it is going to help you get recognized in the field of digital marketing and also help have exposure to the current market trends. Another way is comment link. One way to achieve more customer engagement is by solving their problems and guiding them right. So always have the chance of linking your content in the comment section. Article distribution is also another factor which influences link building. This is another way of getting more traffic to your website. Content marketing deals with creating videos and writing blogs. These business articles are not just composed of fancy words, but also contain the thirst for getting more traffic and good leads. So you should be able to distribute your content right to the right people via the right medium. Now talking about anchor text, which is also used for creating links of a page. Anchor text is a visible and clickable text in a hyperlink. These are the links that you can find in any article when they're linking to another web page. It is often blue and is underlined text, guys. So anchor tags look something like this. So these anchor text is used by the search engines to show how the reflection of how your audience view your website. The anchor was used in the previous HTML specifications and now it is used as a, a element. And also you can see this anchor text in our blogs guys. If you closely observe the blogs, you'll be able to find a few topics put up in the beginning and we'll be linking those to the position where the topic starts. So these are called the anchor tags on the page and also you have links, right? Those links are going to help you to navigate to another web page or another site, right? So these are called anchor tags or anchor text. Now moving on, we'll take a look at the non link related off page SEO. These factors have a lot more influence on your traffic compared to the ones you've got without SEO or social marketing. The few notable ones among the non link related off page SEO are social media marketing, guest blogging, linked and unlinked brand mentions, influencer marketing, and so on. Also do note this guys that the net result of each of the activities on your website is to somehow create a reference to your site from elsewhere on the web. Reference here refers to the link a mention of your brand or your website over the internet. Now focusing on the backlinks part. Let's understand what exactly backlinks are. Backlinks are also called as inbound links or incoming links. 
These are created when one website is linked to another. The link to an external website is often called as a backlink. Google and other major search engines consider backlinks as votes for a specific web page. It means that the page with a higher number of votes will rank higher on the search engine result pages. Like say for example, if I have liked a post from X on Instagram, I share that corresponding post on my profile and my followers will click on the post that I share. This is actually going to create a backlink to the post from X. It means here I'll not only be including the post from X, but I'll also be getting more views and clicks because I shared one of the top posts from X. It's a win win situation here guys. So why exactly do you need backlinks? Backlinks are important to make sure that the audience know about your business. Also look out for people to find more sources of information on the same or related topics. So how do you create backlink? Write a lot of guest posts, build a good public rapport, also helps in reducing broken links. Now moving on to the next part of this session. Let's take a look at the difference between on page and off page SEO. Comparing the two most widely used SEO techniques, I've noted down a few major differences between them. On page SEO involves optimizing your content, meta tags, description, title, and every other element present on the website. Whereas off page SEO involves the activities that drive more significant traffic, helps create awareness about your website, and also linking. On page SEO often deals with content marketing, keyword optimization page speed and so on. Whereas off page SEO deals with linking social media backlinks and guest blogging. So these are two important differences between the two SEO techniques. Okay, so moving on to the next part or the last part of the session. Let's understand the benefits of using off page SEO off page SEO helps increase ranking. It helps your website rank higher on the search engine result pages. Hence resulting in early good traffic. It helps your company get wonderful exposure. Higher the ranking more will be the traffic because of the number of links, social media mentions and so on. And also this helps in increasing your page rank. Getting your website to rank on the first page on Google is quite challenging, but making use of off page SEO, you'll be able to learn about ranking factors, what influences the ranking and so on. So the page rank number is between 0 to 10 that is important according to Google and is placed first on the search engine result pages. Okay, so using off page SEO you can achieve this. So these are some notable benefits of using off page SEO guys. Also with this we come to the end of this video on what is off page SEO. If you have any queries related to any of the topics that has been discussed in this video, feel free to reach out to us. Also, if you want us to discuss anything about any of the topics on digital marketing, just mention them in the comment section below and we'll look into it guys. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.